frankly, I had never seen it. I, I, I keep telling people this I, I, in, in an apologetic way, but, uh, you know, for good or ill, I'd never seen one of the franchise. I saw part of one with uh, Toby McGuire, whom I love, uh, on an airplane once without earphones. A guy next to me was watching. I said, oh, that's what they're all excited about, you know. So I didn't have any preconceived notion or any idea um, what to expect. Uh, I came on the set and worked with these extraordinary people, Campbell Scott, uh, he and I played brothers, you know, he's, He's Andrew's father in the movie, you know, and Sally Field is his aunt, and I play Uncle Ben. So we had these relationships going, and that's what Mark uh, uh, encouraged us to develop, because without that foundation, there's really nowhere emotionally for the show to go. It's not unlike any other, uh, you know, parent-child relationship in the teenage years when, you know, it gets very awkward for young people. And I'm familiar with that, you know, not only as a father, but a grandfather, you know. Of all the young actors on the scene, Today, uh, I've never experienced a, uh, as, as generous an actor to his fellow actors or as committed uh, to his craft as Andrew. I mean, he's quite extraordinary. He's, he can be very intense. There's nothing wasted about him. He comes on the set, he's ready to work. You know, you rarely see him until you're working with him. You know, and he would do these very powerful emotional scenes, and then he would reach the same powerful emotional level for us while he was off camera. So that is the indication of an extremely generous actor, and that is very, very rare these days. So I'm enormously impressed with him and fond of him. And uh, I think that uh, this, is the, this is the launch of a really, really huge career. We worked together a couple of times uh, over the years, and I knew her. Uh, and I mentioned an incident, I hope that she's uh, okay with my quoting her, but uh, during some awkward moments in my life, uh, uh, I ran into her in a very, very compromising situation for me, and she reached out to me in a deeply compassionate, loving, funny way, and made me feel very good, and I've adored her ever since. And I mentioned that moment in the book that just came out a few weeks ago called Along the Way, which is a father-son memoir my son Emilio and I did. And I, I, I just talk about her for a little bit during a critical time in my life. And so she lives in a very special part of my heart. Mark is, uh, he has a sense of humor and he, he disarms everybody. You know, he, he's not, there's never any anxious moments with him, you know. He makes you feel extremely confident and not to worry, no matter what's going on, to just stay focused, enjoy the moment, and uh, know that you're in good hands. And that was, that was always the, the level of, uh, of, his, of his involvement with me and all of us that I was working with. Mind you, I have a very small part in the film. But he treated everyone with that same kind of compassion and humor and uh, 
assurance, you know, confidence. Uh, he was a lot of fun, and and coming from such a young guy, uh, I was I was somewhat surprised because I didn't know him, and he's carrying a huge burden, but you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't uh, think that uh, he was burdened by it at all. I mean, he he carried it with great. Uh, uh, you know, sense of uh, of uh, commitment and confidence. Those are two terms that you know just come right away to mind. I adored him, you know, personally. He was very funny, and he's a sucker for a good joke, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm very fond of him. It's a franchise, you know, it's like, you know, everyone knows how Uncle Ben is going to end up, just like they know how Hamlet is going to end up, or any other of the uh, great historic <laughs> franchises of the, of the past, you know. Uh, we go to see opera, uh, that are, some of those operas are 200 years old. Why do we keep coming back? Because it works and we want to see new life being breathed into those characters. We want to hear a new voice. Uh, we want to be uh, lifted up in the same way as a previous generation. So no, I felt very comfortable. And uh, you know, uh, I, the only other comparable experience I had was with Spawn doing a comic book character, but uh, in Spider-Man, because all my work was relationships with the people, you know, with Sally and Campbell and Andrew, because uh, I, I wasn't involved in any of the special effects or any of the action sequences. You know, all my action was a, an action of the heart. I was already 21 when Spider-Man appeared. I remember it on television as a, uh, a cartoon series, you know, with that song used to come and the kids used to run to the TV because they loved it, my kids, when they're Spider-Man, Spider-Man, da 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 you know, that's what I remembered. Most of what I did was uh, um, family stuff, you know, and one, you know, kind of anxious scene when Andrew has kind of a meltdown, you know, when I call him on his, uh, on his behavior. So, no, uh, it, it was extremely pleasant, uh, great fun working with Sally and uh, Mark and Campbell Scott, you know, and uh, uh, Andrew, of course, is like, uh, he's a revelation. This kid is quite sensational. And uh, to see him on the launch pad was uh, very gratifying to have been a witness to his, uh, his ascendance. Uh, really remarkable. He's a, he's a great young actor, but he's also a great human being. I'm just very impressed with his character and his generosity to all of us and the crew as well. Yeah.